Hi, this is Jim Sitter, and I'm coming to you from a hotel room in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. How do you know that? Well, look at that. Even this. You can't make stuff up like that. The lovely Silver Lake Motel. See Coeur d'Alene. But anyway, what I'm talking to you today about is quintuplets. Quintuplets using double strokes. So by way of review, metronome setting at 80 beats a minute. Here are our single note quintuplets. One, two, three, four. Five eighth notes instead of four. Regular eighth notes. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Quintuplets are here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, so that's more of a review than we need. Here is double stroke. Same thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And here are quintuplets using double strokes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. You get that? Going back and forth between eighth notes and quintuplets. Two, three, Playing back in slow motion. Now I'm going to slow it down for you and we'll play it together. Quarter note equals 60 beats per minute. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. Now why are we doing this? Why quintuplet double strokes? It's not just a cerebral exercise. It's a really important thing to take something that's very familiar to you, like the double stroke roll. Taking something that's very familiar to you and putting it in a very unfamiliar setting. Oh, and before I go too far, let's break it down by fives. We're playing a figure of four beats, right, right, left, left, and we're dividing them into groups of five. It's gonna break down differently every single time. The first group of five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the bounce stroke there. And then we're starting with the catch stroke for the second group, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're starting fresh with the double stroke on the left, one, two, three, four, five, ending with the bounce stroke, and then starting with the catch stroke of the left hand for the final group of five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Only when we play them all together, we don't pause. It goes one, two, three, four, five, one, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's do that with a metronome. And let's go from eighth notes to quintuplet eighth notes to triplet eighth notes. Let's try that. 80 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. One.
Okay, so there's eighth notes to quints to eight um, triplets, back to quints to eighth notes. Now let's take it a step further, up to sixteenth notes, and then septuplet sixteenth notes. Now, if you want to have your right hand leading the whole time, then you want to play the quintuplets twice as long because you notice that the leading hand switched from the right hand to the left hand. Okay, now we're going to go all the way up to quintuplet 32nd notes. So you don't have to play it, um, just as long as you can follow it mentally and see where we can go with this. The important thing is to practice it slow until it's really comfortable. Here we go. Okay, now notice um, the breakdown between um, 32nd notes and 32nd note quintuplets is just like going from 16th notes to 16th note and quintuplets only doubling it. So here's the 16th note and quintuplets. And then we double it. Like that. Have fun practicing that and be challenged, be excited, and create new music. Mm -hmm.